Scientists in New York are studying a new method of uh, imaging the human body using something called terahertz radiation. T-rays are broadband. They cover a wide range of frequencies in the terahertz range. And researchers say T-rays have been used to distinguish gases and mixtures, different types of solvents, and different soft tissue types, fat, bone, muscle, and cancerous tissues. And as Michaela Pereira reports, while T-ray imaging is a developing technology, one day it may help radiologists get a clearer picture of a patient's health. Chances are you've had an X-ray or maybe an MRI or CAT scan, like these being performed at Raytel Imaging in San Francisco. In the future, your doctor may also ask you to get a T-ray. T stands for terahertz. Terahertz is an electromagnetic wave between the infrared and the microwave wavelengths. Compare this standard X-ray mammogram with a T-ray of human breast tissue. The mammogram shows the entire structure of the breast. It's a little difficult to compare because this T-ray image is notably smaller, only one centimeter. But a trained eye can distinguish between normal and unhealthy tissue. And that is the advantage of T-rays. Recently, researchers have been able to go one step further and produce T-ray images in 3D. This team of researchers is the first to use a T-ray to capture biological images in real time after discovering how to split a laser beam to detect the terahertz photon. One of the key reasons T-rays may be used in medicines, safety. Compared to X-rays, T-rays emit low radiation energy photons. Compared with X-ray photon energy, it's about a million times smaller in their energy. So X-ray can cause ionization but the T-ray were not. So in this sense, T-ray is very safe. Clinical studies of T-rays on humans are still pending. So far, T-rays are most effective imaging small areas with low water content, such as teeth. A lot of people get um, biopsies for benign uh, diseases. So if there's any way that a radiologist can uh, improve their specificity for de determining what's benign and what's malignant, that obviously has um, great potential. And implications. Radiologist David Eller anticipates richer images may produce more false positive readings. That, Eller says, could raise a patient's anxiety and ultimately health care costs. For Tech TV, I'm Michaela Pereira. Now researchers can't predict when patients may begin benefiting from terahertz imaging, but scientists have already submitted a proposal to conduct the first clinical trials in the UK.